Did you know that Redshift for Cinema 4D makes it super easy to add color or brightness variation to numerous individual objects with only one material? In this scene, the bushes of the plateau rock have a greenish color just by the base color of the standard material node. This looks kinda uniform. A variation would be cool to make it look more natural and credible. To create such a variation, Redshift needs two components. The first component is a ramp node whose color and brightness information is distributed as a variation to the objects. So that's the information what variation gets distributed. The second component is a color user data node, which defines how Redshift should address the objects to distribute the varied color data. So that's the information how the variation is distributed. In the color user data node under preset, we specify that Redshift should use the MoGraph index ratio. That means the internal individual address of each MoGraph clone to distribute the variation. If there wouldn't be clones but normal objects, we would use objects geometry ID color. The output of the color user data node is then plugged into the ramp node as an alternative input. Keep in mind that for ramps, you can also use predefined presets. Then we feed this ramp node to the standard material node's base color port. Et voilà! The color gradient is applied to all clones in the form of a nice color and brightness variation based on the MoGraph index ratio. Please have a look at the finished project for second German television via the link below. If you like this video, press the subscribe button and don't miss the next episode of Did You Know Redshift for Cinema 4D every Wednesday on this channel.